Hello friends, welcome back to this channel. Hope everyone is fine. So on that note, let's start this video. This is week 6 assignment of industrial IoT 4.0 course. So friends, please watch till the end. If you skip the video, you may miss some content if I modify the solution in between. So do watch the full video. So before going to this, I want to say you that uh, I am planning to do preparation videos regarding IoT 4.0 course. So guys, if you are doing this course as a part of your semester so and if you are in requirement of preparation for the final exam so if you want to me do the preparation videos I will upload for this course also already I have uploaded for cloud computing so these preparation videos are only for our members so with just 89 rupees per month pack you can get that preparation videos so if you are interested and if there are minimum 20 to 30 students want to register for this preparation videos you can do that so go to the playlist or you can just click on join button with 89 rupees pack so with that less price you can get the four nearly 400 mcqs for each subject so if you want more than one subject you can just access that with just 89 only so hope you join in that course so if you are at least 20 to 30 members you can join in the course so let's get into the video now so first question what are the benefits of using sensor in industrial applications so for first question the correct answer is all the above that means option d moving on to the second question guys for within just four videos you can complete most of the syllabus so I know that it is very difficult to read back all the lecture videos that they have uploaded and so I want to concise them in the form of MCQs which will be easier for you to access so within 4 or 5 videos I will try to cover maximum content in the form of MCQs so with just 89 rupees you can get that moving on to second one what is the function of LM35 sensor? So for second question, the correct answer is option A, analog temperature monitoring. Guys, you can check the accuracy with which I am giving all this assignment. So with that, you can gain confidence and you can register for this. Third question. ADXL335 sensor can generate the magnitude and direction of the acceleration true or false so for third question the answer is option A true moving on to the fourth question MQ2 sensor is used for measuring the concentration of which of the following gases so for fourth question the correct answer is option C LPG propane and hydrogen so mark third option moving on to the fifth question dash sensor is used to measure time varying stresses and strains in ferromagnetic materials <coughs> so for fifth question the correct answer is option C magnetostrictive moving on to the sixth question MOS is one of the electrical variations of gas sensing methods so what is the full form of MOS so MOS stands for option a metal oxide semiconductors so mark option a as correct answer for sixth question moving on to the seventh one which is or are the requirements of industrial communication so for seventh question the answer is all of the above so mark option d next one 8th question 
industrial ethernet is used in scenarios that require so in which scenarios we use industrial ethernet so in case of clock synchronization so mark option a moving on to the ninth one profinet in industrial communication is based on which of the following technologies so for ninth question the answer is option b industrial ethernet moving on to the 10th one how many active connections or sockets are supported by modbus tcp simultaneously so for 10th question the answer is option a 10 active connections 11th question which of the following methods is used by either cat for bit error recognition so for 11th question the correct answer is option b crc checksum so mark option b moving on to the 12th one what is the full form of profinet so what what profinet stands for so it stands for process field network mark option a <coughs> moving on to the 13th question what is the maximum number of subscribers supported by the interbus so the maximum number of subscribers it supports is 512 subscribers so mark option a and moving on to the 14th question select the statement that that best describes tactile internet for 14th question the correct answer is both a and b that means option c so let's finally go to the last question of the assignment that is 15th question what is the frequency spectrum for mm wave communication so this frequency spectrum is option a 30 to 300 gigahertz so mark option a as the correct answer for final and 15th question so friends these are the solutions for week 6 assignment hope this video helpful for you if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and share this to your friends so guys already i have told you about the preparation video course so if you want to get good results within just four videos and cover most of the syllabus in the form of exam oriented mcqs you can join in, in the membership with just 89 rupees pack and guys before you want to join in this course for this subject only try to gather around 20 to 30 members so that i can make make videos and upload in this week itself so guys please share this to your friends also so hope you join in this course so until the next video goodbye thank you